This is actually quite good consumer information, or well, it will be in about five minutes' time. Hello! Here he is, look! Full kit! 10 k Lee! 10.7. Is that all that's gone up in the last few months? 700? Yeah, it's gone quiet. Because you haven't done any work, that's why. Big day. Big day. Should we show them? Ooh. Well, they'll have seen it'll be in the title and it'll be in the thumbnail. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. 20, 23, Husqvarna, FC, is it still called an FC in 2023? Full Steve the Stocker mode at this moment in time. And it's gonna get turned into semi-factory Simon. It's not a factory Freddy, is it? No. Back in 2018 when I was good and used to win world championships, I was allowed a factory motocross bike, but these days, not allowed. I was going to do the building for you, but as Lee is in his full no, kit. No, you said to leave it, and you were going to do the build. As Stan's in his full kit, I think it's only right that he does it, really. To be honest, I think, well, let's just cut the waffle, because my channel's been dead for the last few months, so if there's any new view viewers here just to see this new bike, um, I'd rather keep you here. What's, up, what's going on up here? I'm going to find some flat track wheels. Oh, that would be good. Ooh, we might just give too much away. Do you want me to pull this? No, don't you pull sure? that. No. Okay, right. I'll start on this one then. Right, I was going to give you a run through of what we're putting on, but we might as well just do it as we go. Save making this video three hours long. I might actually, this could be a time lapse. Can you see everything from here? You can tell I'm a bit rusty on the old <coughs> vlog life, being injured, had a bad wrist. A road yesterday. Oh, you've seen that vlog by now. This is a few vlogs down the line. I'm just excited. Right, how does this one come off? Any idea? Oh, wait, it goes forward now. See, it goes forwards now. This is actually quite good consumer information, or well, it will be in about five minutes time when we've figured out how you change the shock on this new bike, because we're yes. not entirely sure, but fear not. If you've got a new bike on order and a new shock, and you're wondering how do I possibly get that in there, we'll tell you. Add that on. So we just missed what actually happened. How did that come out? Subframe. Just undo the subframe bolts. All, yeah. all four subframe bolts. Yeah, and then it just pulls out the side. Right, and put the new one back in. Well, I don't know, it's not so keen on. Bolt motocross. That's a dangerous phrase, isn't it? No, she's in. No, 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 that, there might be a more efficient way to do it. If you found a more efficient way to do it, let me know in the comments. Does it feel nice to be back in your uniform? It is. Really enjoying myself. What was that in here? Editing, Bill. That must have been there. Well, I'm filming one and you're editing one. <laughs> yeah, but by the time you've edited that one, they'll have seen this one. This is how it happens. This is what we do. We lay it out on a timeline like this. Cut it all up, chippy chop. Are we doing mechanical tutorials and vlogging tutorials? We should actually do a vlog from yeah. start to finish, how to do a vlog. Well, I've, I've thought that once because I thought... They shouldn't follow how you do it because yours is scattery and a mess. And like, if your MX of Nations vlog was a... Because like, it was meant swear. to be free vlog, yeah, you're not allowed to swear because you get swear. told off. Karen. Whether you're using their pre-built templates that come ready to use on a mobile or desktop browser, or you're using their marketing tools and analytics, to track how successful and how efficient your social media posts are or where your traffic in general is coming from. It literally has everything you need to help transform your business's presence online. Don't just take my word for it. Tom runs his training schools on there. Millions of other people do. So at squarespace.com where you'll get a free trial and when you're ready to make a purchase, either click the link in my description or use code BillyBolt at checkout. 
and you'll get 10% off your first order of a website or web domain. Oh, that's right, you can buy the web domains on that website too, so you don't even need to go on any other website. You can literally build the whole thing from scratch, all in one place, bang! Does anyone want to see a magic trick? You haven't measured it, you haven't got glue. I'm just going to show them. Look what you can do here. We don't do with an airline. I do. Well, I don't. Well, I do. Oh, I don't. So, that's the wrong grip. Look at this bad girl. Straight on. Yeah, but it's not long enough. Nowhere near long enough. Stan, it's on the money. Is it four? Fourteen, man. No, no. Uh, uh, stop. Stop. You're wrong. Who's a bit rusty? Who's a bit rusty? <laughs> I will let you do it and put glue on it though. That was just a little tech tip for you people. If you don't have glue, make sure the grip's as fully dry, like can't have any moisture at all in it. And well, I suppose if you don't have glue, you probably haven't got an airline. That's how I do it anyway. He does it with glue, I do it without a pump. Nice bottle you've got, Edward. Have you actually seen there's a new bottle? Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to close. What a tragedy! We thought we had a production, no, not a production, what's the word, a prototype FMF? But we're getting, I'm guessing it's for 250. Because <laughs> the front pipe's dead short and on a complete wrong angle to fit into the manifold. So it is, it's even less semi-factory Simon than I first thought. Oh well. This is me, I don't use an airline everybody. If you come here to learn how to fit a tyre, this is the wrong vlog. I'm usually quite good. That was incredibly rusty. Plus 19 inch wheels with mooses aren't fun. Oh my god. 30 now to change a back wheel, in case you were wondering. We're just going standard foot pegs to start off with. I have got 5mm back and I have got 5mm back and 5mm down. But I'll just go with standard for start off with. Have you watched the video how to fit them? No, I'm just gonna guess. I'll try Stan's method. Oh shit, I'm gonna hammer. Pass the hammer. Oh, easy as that. Don't know if you could actually say anything there, but I've just done it nice and easily. Nice and easily, Stan's technique. I actually filmed that video when he was doing it and I wasn't convinced that was the best technique. However, I've changed my opinion. That's a good way to do that. Well, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. It's probably going to be a longer video than I was expecting, so there might not even be any riding footage in this one. Is that going to make you angry if there's no riding footage? Shall I make you wait for the next one? We'll take it outside and start it, then we'll decide, yeah? You what? I'm not saying it again, Bill. What did you just say? 
I've been out for 10 minutes and I might need a break later. <laughs> <laughs> he never feels, does he? No, but they don't count, because you said stoppy crashes don't count. I don't think they count. No, I tried to do a pirouette 180 and done what you've done and only got halfway. Anyway, do the honours. If someone from Husqvarna Racing Department's watching, I'm sorry, I've got no stickers on. Well, you haven't, I don't have any yet. Sorry, Aunt Lee. Yeah, we are very sorry. But I have got plain white plastics, but I thought the bike in stock trim would be better for you. I did think of that. New button. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't get anyone to video as everyone's busy, so we'll just have to do a quick GoPro lap to end this vlog. Thanks for watching, plenty more videos coming up now, I'm back riding Cinebit!